good evening folks so today we'll be looking at news classification uh, using three algorithms so news classification is the process of classifying news articles into um, a, a suitable category so for this we'll be using the tag my news data set which is generously provided by the computer science department of university of pisa so this uh, Dataset contains 32,000 32, English news articles and the categories available are sport, business, US, health, science tech, world and entertainment. And each news article has these fields, title, description, link, ID, date, source and category. So this is what the dataset looks like. In, in each article we have a title, some description, some link and more details. So you can see that, that that the final line in each art in each data item is the category of the news. So this is the text file. Now we need to break it in different uh, different files. So I have made data folder in my project folder in which we'll be saving all the data. So I just open the news file and I basically extract each data item and save it in a file in the data folder. So let me just quickly run it. So um, this is the category of each news item which is there in the text file. So after running this snippet, this is the output we get. In the data folder, we have seven folders subfolders and if we open each folder uh, we can see that there's a text file for each new snippet so i just open it for demo here so if i open the text you can see that there's a new snippet here right so now we move on to the next item here i just loop through all the files through all the data set which we have and we uh, save it in the training data list so i just save it i just run it and we have defined the category list. Uh, so there are seven categories. There's a directory list and we use glob to, uh, to loop through all the uh, files, right? And then we uh, save it in the training data list. Here's the first item, right? So now I just save it to CSV and save it as a pandas data frame. So I run it. This is the shape of it. Now, we'll be using the count vectorizer, which would be giving us the count of each type of uh, the word, which is there in the data set. So I'll just run it. So now we have saved the count vectorizer output to the pickle file, count vector.pkl. We can see that the file has been made here, right? Now, we'll be using tfidf vectorizer for um, so tfidf is basically uh, like we, we count the frequency in each document and if it occurs a lot of number of times then then it's important but if it occurs a lot of number of times across all documents then the importance decreases right so we just find the tfidf vector of the data set which we have and we save it in tfidf.pkl so this is the first algorithm which we are going to use and this is the multinomial bias naive base algorithm so we just simply import the multinomial nb from sklearn.naive base and we also import a function called train test split from sklearn.model selection so the first thing we do is split the data set into train and test data set and the test data set uh, the data size is 25 percent of the total data and uh, we have a classifier here which fits the train data according to the multinomial naive base algorithm and we finally save the model in nb underscore model dot pkl file so here's our output uh, here you can see that we have the model file. Now, uh, just to show you that the model is working, I have a very small test code here. 
So what this code does is that we import count factorizer, we import tfidf transformer, and I just write a normal, uh, a news title. Okay, so Apple stock rises by 10 times. Then I load the count factorizer, I load the tfidf, I, and I lo load the model pk, and then uh, I apply the count factorizer on the the news item which we have. Then I apply it. TFIDF on I apply TFIDF transformer on that news item and then finally I predict the category of it using the multinomial NB model which we just saved okay and finally I'm just printing the category of this news item which is going to be there so I run it and uh, okay so model.pkl not found it is because above you can see that we saved it as nb underscore model dot pk so i'll just quickly change it and yeah so the category is business which is very appropriate apple stock rise by 10 times is surely going to be in the business category if i quickly change it to something else like messy um, joins other football team just like that so you can see that the category is now sport right pretty sweet so now we run it on the test data set so you can see that I'm running the predict function on test data set I'm saving it in the rest bias.csv file and I'll be printing all the output so you can see that, that the first one is the predicted output and the second one is the actual output of that news item so we have few correct results but then we have few wrong results as well like this one sport us so we print predicted the news item as sport but actually it was from the US one so this is the first uh, model with uh, first algorithm which we use for our uh, news classification task so we'll also be making the confusion matrix so um, the confusion matrix is a standard way of representing uh, the, the false positives and the true negatives and all those things which we get so this is important for uh, plotting the graphs and calculating f1 score and recall score right so uh, i'm just saving it as a confusion matrix right now okay so we can also print it so this is how the confusion matrix look, looks like for the existing uh, data set so now we'll be using the mlp classifier which is used for softmax softmax is basically the last layer of the mlp classifier so we'll be now using the soft, softmax algorithm and the result is going to be really accurate because of uh, because that's what we found. So we import MLP classifier. We just uh, initialize the class and then we again split the data set into two uh, test and train and we fit it uh, according to this classifier. It's gonna take some time. And here's the classifier, the learning rate and uh, the iterations and all is shown here. Now we save it in softmax.pkl and we predict for the test data set and save it to res softmax.csv and print all the output. So we have few mistakes like here we predict the US which was sport but other than that it's quite accurate. Next we'll try the SVM so we just import SVM from sklearn and we initialize the linear SVC class and save the model into svm.pkl file and we'll be uh, printing the output for it. So here's the output for the uh, SVM algorithm. So we printed news um, classes using three algorithms. So we used, firstly we used the naive base classifier then we use the uh, softmax algorithm and then we use the um, SVM algorithm. And let's see how the plot of these algorithms look like. So if we see for multinomial naive ways, this is how the graph looks like. So uh, we have good accuracy for sports category, but the accuracy slightly reduces for US and health one. And we have also um, plotted the recall and the F1 score 
next if we see for softmax uh, we have actually a good score so the accuracy is almost 0.9 for all the cases so except for the sports one other than that we have 0.9 for all the categories if we see SVM we almost touch 0.9 in the business category but in the remaining ones it's uh, 0.75 uh, is the minimum and our average is 0.8 something so if we find the averages and plot it for all the three algorithms we get this graph the average accuracy for softmax comes out to be 0.9 and for SVM it's 0.8 and for knife base it's about 0.65 so the, the red bar is the accuracy, the middle one is default score and the final one is F1 score. So this is the result which we uh, have for uh, the news classification algorithms and we think that Softmax is a really good algorithm if we have the task of classifying news articles. And uh, the the code for all this, these algorithms is in this Jupyter Python notebook. We'll be uploading this, uh, all this code and the data files in a zip folder with this uh, video. I'll be sharing the link down, uh, with the video. And that, that's it. So, um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, uh, so this was, uh, group uh, by like a group consists of me Vijay Nandwani and then we have Shubhangi Kishore, Pallavi Gupta and Shubhang Arora. Thank you so much and have a good day.